They're giving out free candies. It's, it's not free. Twenty dollars. <laughs> Next class is Subaru. Third place goes to car number seventy-four. Second place, Subaru, goes to car number one thirteen. And first place goes to car number. Let me tell you about those Serbs. They would be fucking unstoppable if they could just get fucking started. Hey, what's up guys? This is Kino. Today, we're gonna be preparing for another Nagoya trip. We're going to uh, Port Mese, Nagoya for today's show, and I'm gonna go get my car washed, and I got so many things I still gotta do. Hopefully, I got enough time to uh, film everything and stuff, but uh, if not, I'll explain when I get to Nagoya. Okay, so that is before the car wash. It is super messy right now. Um, It'll be clean. All right, so this is what it looks like after the wash. It's super clean now. I'm back at my parking place and I'm gonna start working on my car. You know how uh, I got the uh, LED tail lights, which has the black interior? Ever since I installed those, uh, the stock headlights and the stock side markers have been bugging me for quite a while now. Uh, the reason for that is because the tail lights, they got the sharp black interior, but um, the side marker, you could see through the lens and you could see the bulbs, like orange bulbs. And I don't know, I, I didn't really like that. So I went ahead and ordered the LED side marker. Let's see if you could focus there you go so that it's gonna match the tail lights um, regarding the headlights I'm still trying to plan things out I'm just gonna take my time and try to like come up with something unique but simple at the same time I don't want it to be too flashy um, something simple uh, with black interior and um, something fun you'll, you'll see in the future um, but yeah, so let's go ahead and install these. Other than that, I got some stuff for the license plate so that I could put some angles. Um, it's not really like modification modification, but still, uh, it's gonna make my STI look a lot better and we'll get a better airflow on the, the vent in the front bumper. And I got more of the uh, Chemical Guys V7. This, these are really good, uh, especially when you're like going to shows and stuff. It's like easy wash at the very last minute. They got sealant mixed inside, so uh, it makes your car extra glossy. So I got these again. What I do usually when I wash my car is I usually put like four or five different layers of uh, coating. I'll make a video of me explaining like what what I usually do when I wash my car because I don't have anything prepared right now <laughs> um, and I also got these it's not really like car parts for modification um, what's been happening is when I turn the car on you see the lights at the bottom right um, those lights has been unstable recently, so, uh, so, Jesus, shut up. <laughs> so, uh, those lights have been really unstable recently, so I'm gonna replace the wirings. I think they're getting unplugged inside, uh, behind the navigation or the center, center panel. So, I'm gonna... Well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe uh, the fuse isn't big enough. I don't, I don't know. I'm not too sure about these kind of stuff. But uh, I got new ones, so hopefully that fixes all the problems. So let's get to work. I'm gonna start off with the easiest one, uh, which is the power supply. Okay. So what you do is you just pull on 
you just pulled these off. I probably, I'm not too sure, but I probably did a video in the past. You could check it out. My hands are kind of greasy because I just ate, but. All right, so let's see what it looks like. Hopefully, I hope it's not too big. Okay, perfect. And this one has a power button. Well, I don't really need a power button, but um, it's got better fuse and it's got USB ports. I really need those because the LED lights, they are done with USB like that all right so it's all tucked in and the lights are on they should be stable now uh, we'll monitor that for like a week or two um, sorry about the noise uh, it's the deafening gauges the engines not on so it's showing that there's no oil pressure that's why it's beeping the whole time so let's get working on the next one. Um, what should we do next? Uh, we'll do the uh, side marker. So the side markers, uh, the company is called Crystal Eyes. The, these were like only uh, 30, 40 dollars, so it's not too bad. They are really famous for FRS and BRZ tail lights. Hopefully they last long. So it's fairly simple, uh, you just take this one off um, and replace it with the aftermarket um, according to the websites and the reviews. Uh, you don't really need relay to uh, balance out the flash timing. Um, I guess it's built in, I'm not too sure but that's what it says on the review. So let's try it on. Okay so uh, the first step is reach your hand inside well there's only like one step actually uh, there's a clip attached onto the side marker so just uh, unclip it and take it off unplug it that's it okay so it popped off um if your fenders FRP just be really careful not to crack it uh, I didn't do anything to damage it I think but uh if you have a FRP, just be careful. And all you do is unplug this and replace it with a new one. As always, I did encounter a problem. Um, so this is what it looks like when it's on. Um, it does match the tail lights. Uh, there is no se sequential setting, so it's going to flash like a normal one but um, okay let me show you what the problem is it would look uh, really sharp and sick if this thing actually fit but uh, the problem is the size wasn't the same as stock so I would have to cut like just a bit more and I don't have any proper tools to cut FRP. So uh, I'm gonna have to go to uh, Home Depot or somewhere and buy some saw. Hopefully after I uh, come back from Nagoya, uh, I could work on it right away. But uh, yeah, uh, for the show, it's gonna stay stock. All right, so the license plate mount is installed. I like how it's got the angle and from the side you can't really see the license plate anymore awesome man it's it really sucks that I couldn't replace this one out of all the parts that I got for today's install um, the side markers were my favorite. That's what I was looking forward to uh, replace, but there's some work that needs to be done before installing it. 
and I don't really want to work on it during the night because I don't want to crack the FRP on the fender side and I don't want to mess up. So I'm going to try to get some tools and work on it um, probably next week. Hopefully nothing goes wrong. So yeah, I think I'm going to close off my vlog here today. I'll show you guys all the awesome cars that will be at the show and see you on the next vlog. Thanks so much for watching guys.